Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador based in Helsinki, Finland. And in this video, I'm going to talk about double exposure. See, the other day I tried something I've never done before. I mean, I've done it, but not this way. I tried some in-camera multiple exposures using my Lumix G9 camera. And I had such a good fun, I decided I have to share this with you guys as soon as possible, just in case you have never tried this. But if you have tried it, uh, please leave me a comment down below. I'd like to hear how it went. I don't usually do effects in camera because I want to have my untouched raw file that I can fine tune in post. And when I'm out here taking pictures, there are so many things that I have to get right in camera anyways, like uh, get, a good exp uh, get a good composition and uh, choose the right exposure values. And those are the things that I can't change in post. So I usually prefer to shoot raw and not to do any effects in camera. But I really have to say this multiple exposure experiment turned out to be such a good fun. I mean, obviously, if you want to do multiple exposures with great precision and uh, great control, you will do it in Photoshop or some other image editing software. But it's not nearly as much fun. And um, doing it in camera, it's more like uh, in the moment, more spontaneous. Lumix cameras have this really cool feature that makes multiple exposures really easy. When you take the first image of your multiple exposure, it's gonna show up as a ghost image in the viewfinder or on the rear screen. And when you're making the second exposure on top of the first one, it's really easy to compose and uh, align the second one on top of the first one. Okay, but let's have a look how you can make those multiple exposures on your Lumix camera. I'm using my G9 here as an example. And first you go to the camera menu, page number five. There you see multiple exposure. And um, there are two options, auto gain on and off. When you have the auto gain on, it tries to keep the final multiple exposure uh, brightness constant. If you turn the auto gain off, each and every image of the, in the multiple exposure will uh, come as it is and the brightness of the final image will um, depend on much more how you expose the individual images. Then there's this overlay on and off option. Um, if you have the overlay off, then you will just simply take a picture and then take another picture on top of that and you can do up to four exposures in the same frame. But if you have the overlay on, you can choose any of your previously shot pictures that are on the same memory card and use that uh, as your first, ex uh, first exposure and then take other pictures on top of that up to uh, four pictures. But uh, bear in mind that uh, the pictures that you have on your card must be in RAW format, otherwise you can't use the overlay on option. To start your multiple exposure, you go to the multiple exposure menu and there's the first option that says start. You press that or choose that and take your first image. Then there is a menu that says next, retake or exit. Next means you take uh, your next picture on top of the, the, the first one. And retake means that if you're not happy uh, with how it looks, then you, will, you can retake uh, the, the last picture. And exit means, of course, that you are finished with your multiple exposure and now you can see how it looks. And the final image is in RAW format, which is really cool because then you can fine tune it in your favorite RAW processing software. There's only one downside. Each individual photo is not saved as a separate file. So when you're done with your multiple exposure, that's your final RAW file and that's the only file you're gonna get. I think it's worth experimenting with the auto gain on and off. Uh, I shoot most of my images with the auto gain on, 
and uh, at least as a, a multiple exposure beginner I found it was easier to get constant results uh, with that setting. Like I said, I'm a beginner with in-camera multiple exposures, but here are uh, some things that you might want to try if you are a beginner too and you don't know quite where to start. Combine sharp and unsharp. Combine uh, subjects of different scale. Combine high contrast, low contrast. And one thing I think could be worth experimenting with is the nighttime city lights. But I didn't do it uh, because uh, I have to admit I was a bit lazy and also the, the days are getting so long here in Finland already because we are going towards the summer that I'd have to go out really late to get proper city lights uh, in my pictures. I fine-tuned my multiple exposures in Lightroom because they are raw files. And I found out that the contrast and the dehaze sliders were pretty much the only sliders I used. I also added some vignetting to some images, but I didn't use hardly any other of the sliders. I hope you found this little uh, multiple exposure experiment useful. Remember to like, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.